Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président du Congrès. Thank you, Chair. Chair of Congress, Director General, Ambassador Hussein, Director General elect, my dear friend, Mr. Metoki, Deputy Director General elect, my dear friend, Marjan Oswald, delegates, friends, I address you all. There's no place for bitterness in defeat, particularly not the day when we celebrate victory. And I now turn to you, the family of the Universal Postal Union. And what I want to say to you is this. I've always served you and I will continue to serve you. My term of office continues until the 31st of December this year, and then we will see what the future holds. I was a committed, serious candidate for the post that I was standing for. I knew how difficult the circumstances we are in are. I've already known defeats and difficulties in my life, and I have no regrets whatsoever about the political campaign I waged because I had real ambitions for the Universal Postal Union. Of course, a verdict has now been handed down on my candidacy, and uh, some people are happy, some are not. But what's important today is that we join together. We must recognize the importance of the universal service that we provide. My campaign was difficult. It was difficult in terms of the resources available, the time available, and the way that I could behave. I was very, very rigorous in my approach. I put forward proposals explaining my vision and my proposals. I put forward my arguments. I didn't manage to convince most of those who voted, but I remain deeply convinced of the arguments that I put forward. I wish to congratulate most warmly Mr. Metoki, the future Director General of the UPU. I thank you for your campaign, Mr. Metoki. You waged a very correct campaign and a very friendly campaign with me. Japan and Switzerland have always got on very well, and certainly this is not something that is going to trouble our friendship in any way. Now, my post of Deputy Director General will be handed over to another friend, Mr. Marjan Oswald, who's been an excellent co-pilot, and I'm going to let him take over the controls at the end of this year. And it'll be a new life for him, and a new life for me too. But I hope that in that new life, I'll be able to exert a positive influence elsewhere. But I'll never forget the wonderful years I spent at the helm of this organization, taking it through a period of reform so that it can be where it is today. I've learned an awful lot from this unforgettable adventure. Yes, I had ambitions. I had a vision. I wanted justice. There was a kind of thirst for justice in what I did. And my campaign now comes to an end, as does that of the others. Tak, Vlad, Marcella, Yunus. I know how they're feeling, and I think about them now. I've been lucky enough to know victory in UPU, and I wish them in the future also victories here within UPU. I cannot conclude without turning to Ambassador Hussein, our Director General. I have been at his side for many years. I have advised him. I have been loyal to him. And at times, I had to serve my vision of public service, which involved being true to myself and being loyal to the situation in which I found myself. That's always been the values that I have upheld, the values of my family, my mentors, those who have helped me. Edouard Dayan also entrusted me with many things because he too believed in those values. And from what I have done, from the 25 years I've spent in the international arena and in the postal arena, I have learned a great deal and I have always sought to uphold those values. And I can say, perhaps selfishly, that I think we have all benefited from that. I've worked alongside th the staff members of the UPU and Swiss Post. I thank them all for their work with me. 
And I congratulate them on the wonderful results we have achieved as a team, because no one can ever win alone. My life? My life is focused on friends and family, my wife and my children. I've been very ambitious, and uh, perhaps because of that, they've suffered sometimes, including uh, in, if we look at what's happened today. But I want to state here publicly that their support and their presence with me at all times is truly vital to me and to what I am. I also wish to thank Switzerland. Switzerland for the trust shown in me, the confidence shown in me in all circumstances, even the most difficult circumstances. Over these 25 years, I've been involved in politics in the wider sense of the world. That's been part of my life. That's what's made me what I am. It's taught me resolve, yes, but above all else, it's taught me humility in both victory and defeat. So it's time for me now to step back, to step back to others who will serve the cause of the UPU. Thank you for your kind attention. Merci. Merci, Pascal. Thank you. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you. That was a very touching speech. Thank you very much indeed. 